This is a quick install guide for Ultima Online on Insane UO Shard. For this guide, we will focus on installing the following Classic Client, Classic UO, Taz UO Launcher, and Razor Enhanced. To start, we will navigate to the Insane UO webpage, where we will find most of the links required to perform the install. First, we will install the Classic Client. Click on the link and follow the prompts. You will also be prompted to install DirectX, which is required for UO. Once completed, we will start to update the client. Start by running the UO icon on your desktop. It will take about 10 minutes to patch, depending on your internet and computer. For the purposes of this video, we will skip the wait and jump to the juicy parts. Now that the client is patched, we will click play to open the client. Once open, we will take note of the latest patched version, which we will use later. In this case, it's 7.0.02.3. Write it down somewhere for later. Once done, you can close the patched client. Now that we have the Classic Client installed and patched, we will proceed to install Classic UO. Although confusing, Classic UO is an open source implementation of the Ultima Online Classic Client. In short, it makes old UO look new. Let's start by using the link from the Insane UO website for Classic UO. Select your operating system, in this case, Windows. Once we have the download, we will need to proceed with the installation. My personal preference is to install all my UO goodies in the same location. In this case, we will navigate to the C drive and create a folder called Insane UO. From here on, we will extract the zipped file we downloaded to the folder we just created. Once saved in the Insane directory, we will run the Classic UO Launcher and allow it to update to the latest version. Now that we have Classic Client and Classic UO, the only remaining installs are Taz UO and Razor Enhanced. In a nutshell, Taz UO is an add-on for Classic UO which makes UO go from new to sexy. It has a lot of features which are awesome, and provide a lot of quality of life enhancements. Taz UO, Classic UO, and Classic Client depend on each other to work and are required, so don't be that guy and skip steps. After we have installed Taz UO, we will be installing Razor Enhanced, which is your client assistant, which we will chat about in a few moments. But let's first create some folders for Razor and Taz UO to extract the files into once we have downloaded those files.
You can download Razor Enhanced by using the link on Insane UO website and extracting those files into the directory we created for Razor. Lastly, we will install the Tazuo launcher. If you Google Tazuo GitHub, you will find the link where we can download the launcher. You can also find all the links required in the description of this video. Navigate to the launcher section where we can download the launcher accordingly. As per the instructions, Tazuo has a Microsoft.NET dependency. Once we have extracted Tazuo and run it for the first time, it will auto download Microsoft.NET for you. So don't worry about that. Let's proceed to download and extract the Tazuo launcher. Again, this is a zip file which we will extract into the folders we created, and once we run Tazuo, it will prompt us to install Microsoft.NET. Just say yes and run the installer. We have now downloaded all the files we require. The last remaining step is to configure your launcher and server details. We are almost done, I promise. If you have followed the instructions, we should see the Tazuo launcher, which looks like this. Going forward, this is the program you will use to open your UO clients. But first, let's set up your profile by clicking on the gear icon and create a new profile. Name your profile to your preference. Ideally, you would want to set up one profile for each account you have. The setup for each profile should follow the same steps, except for your username and password, which would differ. Once we have specified the username and password, we will select Insane UO as your server, which will populate the server details. Next, we need to select the classic client we installed way in the beginning. Click Locate and navigate to the Install directory which should be located in C Program Files 86, Electronic Arts, Ultima Online Classic, and select the file called Client. Next, we are going to make sure our client version is the same as what we noted earlier. If it did not populate, type it in the client version box. Next, we want to specify our Razor Assistant location by clicking on Plugins and specify the Razor directory, which would be in the folder we created under C, Insane UO, Razor. Then click on Razor Enhanced and click OK. Now that we have that set up, the last step would be to go to Advanced tab and disable the music, unless you are into that kind of thing. We also want to tick the Auto Login checkmark, which would make login in easier, as you don't need to specify your username and password every time. Hey, I'm lazy. What can I say? 
Once we have those settings in, we are done. You can click on General to make sure all your hard work was saved. It should save automatically when you close the window. If it doesn't, just try again and specify those details. It should take. Now you can select the profile you have created and hit play. Looks like we have success. We have connected successfully and can now proceed to create a new tune. Woohoo, you have created your first tune. You can now set up your layout as you wish. When you do create your first tune, make sure to set up the account recovery registration. This will allow for account recovery should you forget your username or password. Furthermore, it will also get you a free skill token which you can use to skill 5 skills to 90 instantly. Just provide your email and Discord information, followed by your social security number, your first car, and your mother's maiden name. I'm joking, of course. Just your email and Discord name will suffice. One last thing to note, firstly Razor, this is our assistant, which helps us with a couple of things. I usually use the light level filters to help my eyes and prevent me from casting Night Sight all the time. Your call if you want it. You can also navigate through the options, scripts, agents, which includes auto loot, scavenger, organizer, vendor buy, vendor sell, dress, and friends tabs. Use friends if you want to prevent yourself from attacking your own pets. Remember to friend your own pets and click on the auto accept party from friends. Prevent attacking in war mode. And finally, to include party members in friend list. You can also navigate to the skills tab to look at your current skills. You can also check out the in-game options, noting that it has a cool search function, see how it highlights the location of the function you are searching for, and that dudes and dudettes, is it? Just as a last takeaway, a quick reminder to create a shortcut for your Taz UO launcher to make it easy to get to. Right click Send to Desktop. You can also delete the old client shortcut. And that's it. That's all she wrote. Hope you guys enjoy your time at Insane UO.